You cheat and you lie and you go on your phone in class and you get bad grades if you don't cheat because you conform. You conform to what everyone else is doing around you just because it's the quote unquote expectation. Why do you set others as what the expectation is? This is what happens to kids in my class. They see that others go on their phone, so they go on their phone. They see that others cheat, so it's the expectation that you cheat. They see that others don't wave hi to the teacher, so they don't. It's these expectations that we set based on social parameters that if we see that other people are doing it, we do it. You should not set your expectations like this. It will lead you to become a pawn, a part of the script, just somebody doing someone else's work. It doesn't really come from just natural. It comes from a lack of confidence and a lack of discipline. If you had confidence and discipline in yourself, would you do what everyone else is doing? No, you probably would be able to say, hi, goodbye to the teacher. You probably would be able to raise your hand. You probably would be confident in your ability to do work and study without having to cheat in class. So you're just unconfident, undisciplined. It's, it's your fault that you conform. It's not that you set the expectations. It's that you don't want to set your expectations higher or else you would have to go to there. So really, it comes down to setting your expectations higher. I used to kind of be this person, you know, just average kid, average kid doing what everyone else is doing. If other people are doing it, I wasn't doing it, blah, 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 blah. And you're used to this. It's not really your fault if you're used to this your whole life. There's kids in my Spanish, there's kids in just classes that... It's normal. It's completely and utterly normal. And they have been rewarded for this behavior of just doing what others are doing. So why wouldn't they do what others are doing? They don't realize that because they've set their expectations as the baseline, that they're only going to that baseline. They don't realize that the real baseline is up here. Their baseline is down here. Something that happens in my chemistry class. Everyone cheats. Everyone fails. Everyone doesn't say how to teach her. Everyone doesn't do anything. But to me, that's the expectation. The expectation is that you should say how to teach, you should say bye to teacher, should be raising your hand in class, you should be taking notes, you should be very studious, should be doing your work. And so I get good grades. I do well in my classes because that's my expectation. I don't take the expectation from what others are doing, take the expectation for what I want to be doing. And then I become that. Because we always want to rise to expectations. If you become this person, if you become that person that doesn't take the expectations from other people, from what the society is doing, but take the expectations from who you want to be, then you will become that person that can do things that other people aren't doing. That people will, might look at you weird. Like, oh my gosh, he's a little bit crazily nice to the teachers. Oh my gosh, is he a teacher's pet? Oh my gosh, he is doing so well in class. He's raising his hand too much. People look at me kind of weird like that because I'm doing things that other people aren't doing just because my expectation is like that. People look at you weird, but if you do this, you get used to it. Your confidence goes up, your discipline goes up, so you don't have to worry about that. You'll be so confident in what you do. Other people's opinion doesn't really matter. So take this advice. Become that person that you want to be by setting your expectations as the person that you want to be, not what other people are doing around you. You'll become that person with confidence and discipline and able to do those things. Or you can remain that person that your expectations are like everyone else's. You're going to become like everyone else. So try this next time you go in school. Write down what would just try it for your first period class. What would my ideal self do in that class? What is the expectation for that class? do that on Monday. So try that. This is just something that I picked up along the way as a high school student, probably like you if you're watching this. So if you're someone our age or going through the same journey as us, like trying to get successful, then you can click, I don't know, subscribe down below. You can listen to our other stuff. We have a bunch of videos, us teenagers talking. So yeah, thank you for watching. Try that. I actually want to see what happens on Monday. So yeah, peace.